last question. Uh, what are your plans from here on? I've got a lot of plans. I've got lots of crazy ideas to do what I want to do. <laughs> Um, look, to start with, I'm just going to sort of ride, the, ride this roller coaster that I'm on at the moment, and I've been given so many opportunities because of MasterChef, from ads to doing food demonstrations to cooking for, you know, amazing people, um, and I'm going to keep doing that um, as long as I'm still in the kitchen and, and, and doing food. That's what I'm going to be doing, um, and ideally next year, maybe July, go to France. I'm going to do six months of stage over there, and. Um, you know, work harder and learn more about the kitchen and um, sort of try to find a mentor over there and work with him for six months and then open a restaurant in the next three years. Maybe. Um, where did you get your, like, your certificates and stuff? Where did you do it? No, um, I didn't have... I've got a hospitality certificate, um, which I basically did a, a, a sort of a, a fast one for six months at TAFE so I could go to uni to do a tourism degree. So I learned... I did counting, how to set the table... Um, for me, it was so important to do. I, I think now, just looking back at it, um, work experience is 50% of it, and the other side is the education side. Um, so what you guys, what William Blue do here, um, and train you on everything, the, the holistic view of the food industry and how to run a restaurant is really important. Um, so I am happy I did that, and now I want, I've done the, this side of the restaurant, and now I'm at that section where I want to be doing work experience inside the kitchen because you can't run a restaurant if you don't know both sides. That's my theory and I think it's really important to have that. So education is very important. Yeah. And what would your last supper be? Last supper. I asked that the other day. I keep changing my mind depending on how hungry I am or what I feel like. Um, tonight I'm going to say my mum's blanquette de veau. Does anyone know what that is? <laughs> Oh, of course, <laughs> um, which is a veal stew and white sauce. You know, I think that's we were talking, talking about white stews before, and that's in my head. I'm like, mm, I would love one of those right now. Um, and it's you just serve it with some rice um, it's a stew that's been cooked, it's veal that's been cooked in broth, and then you make a white sauce over it. It's just amazing, amazing. Maybe one of the teachers can show you one day how to do it, but um, that would be one of my last ones because it's just my mum. It just says my mum all over it, so she's done so well. I think. No worries. Question three, if you were given the opportunity to open up your own restaurant in any city of the world, which city would you choose and why? Um, I've always, I mean, I'm a Sydney girl, I've always wanted to open it in Sydney, maybe on the north side. Um, France, yes, that's where I want to train more. I want to get my cooking up to, I want to immerse myself in everything French because uh, my mum's French and I think that I, I need to learn a bit more about the French cuisine when I open my French bistro. But I think it'll be in Sydney because um, I know it so well. I know a lot of people here. Um, it's my hometown, so I think that this is where I'll, I'll open my, my restaurant one day.